and have my beautiful badges messy coat back again with another asset store review. This time it is the City Builder Urban Pack from Reversed Ints. Don't let that confuse you, it's not actually a city builder, we can't build a city by the click of a button. What it is, it's a modular building pack that gives you all of the parts so you can build a city if you were to try to do one. You've got two packs in one, the Mega Props Urban Pack, which normally is $15 by itself. It's bundled in with this pack, the City Builder Urban, so you get two things for one. Normally $34, but currently on a 50% sale, down to $17. I bought this back in December and I finally got an excuse to use it. So thank you for that. So sit back, enjoy, and I'll see you all in a second. Here I am inside Unity playing about with HDRP and the City Builder Urban from Reversed Int. I have to say that I bought this back in December and I haven't touched it until now. Uh, I had a few issues when I put it in and the devs um, Reversed Int have been so helpful. They've been great. I've had soft to them. So like five stars when it comes to support. Now I'd like to point out that this is not a city builder even though it's called city builder it's not a city generator it's not a city builder you can't build a city with it no you can't it's not a city builder no it's a how can we describe it modular city pack it's a modular city pack and i do like it i love it a lot i think it's very pretty very pretty indeed uh, you don't get any flag waving on these flags, but you get flags. You also get these lovely letters here from Reversed Int. Look, he's made the word reversed. I've made Messi Coda. See, I made that myself. And it's got here the scaffolding. Uh, uh, I think that looks very sexy. It's Messi Closes Nightclub. Advertising over there. Talking about advertising. Lots of wonderful billboard advertisement going on as well in this pack. We've got... Bom bom bom, the lighting, the scaffolding, you've got the adverts that they give you, the script on there as well to make it do it funkiness. You've got the tickers for the financial tickers. Look, Saw's the movie. Also, what you've got with these are the, the billboards without any uh, movie on them. And I'm going to zooming around. Here we go, down here at the bottom. So you can see that. It's got no poster on it. The poster's been removed. It's the old traditional one, rather than the electronic one. So here's electronic style, and here's your traditional billboard. So, interesting to have if you want to have it like ye oldy style, because obviously, you know, could this be used for the 1940s, 1950s, 1960s? Yes, it could, because they're just buildings, really, at the end of the day. Remove the fancy digital advertisement, and leave up with the traditional paper advertisement, and there you go, you're back in time. Because look at the buildings, the, the brickwork on these buildings, are fabulous you get different types of windows on these ones you get the square on these ones you get rounded ones at the top over there you see there the rounded ones you get different style of brick as well and you get the traditional glass office block and you get lots of different trimming so you can customize the trimming on the buildings to, to make it look unique as well and i love the parallax shader on the windows as well if you can see there love there to be a little bit more detail on there but these look at these ones you've got blinds curtains different size of curtains different shapes you've got net curtains i also love this train track it reminds me of a syndicate choo choo oh, it have been a bit too fast choo choo you've got scaffolding down at the bottom there to be your city to life and talking about bringing your city to life it's two packs in one you get the urban props pack with this as well so you get the buildings your so okay you've got the fire escape here it's got a lot on it. Some things have got lot, some things don't. If it's not heavily detailed, it doesn't seem to be a lot. If you do find yourself needing more lots on these things, then you can always go and grab yourself uh, a tool to, to simplify the meshes as well, to make it simpler. So the Urban Props Pack don't, doesn't have any lots, so don't expect any lots on your on your mailbox, etc. I think about the, every now and again I get a jarring something takes me out of my immersion i have messaged dev and he was very keen to hear the feedback so five stars out of five for the developer of this back the artist reverse in communication has been bang on 100 percent, fantastic bought this back in december didn't use it until now and i've just been spamming him spamming him with feedback and he's been taking it 
with good spirit, I would say. I mean, look at these condiments here. There's no, there's no gunk or mess on them, and there's no textures on the bottles. I love the fact that some of them are squished in, but there's no details on them. And the, and the drinks as well. Like the drinks knock you out of your immersion because there's no textures on there. Just give us some fake soda pops. I love the water here on this broken um, road. Uh, and you get the decals for your road signs as well. You've got your traditional cliched uh, cone, traffic cones and, and, and roadblocks. The metals are the stuff that his textures are really fantastic. They're, they're the best his textures he's got, the metal objects. He does them really well. Uh, he's got like the, the, the stress on them, the aging on them. Especially if I pop over to the bus stop, I could just mush my face up against these all day long. Talk about our bus stop. Look, you've got the advertisements. Looking wonderful here again. And over here, and there's your little sign to tell you when the next bus coming. Now, it's a mythical uh, city, this. It's a mythical city. It's like New York esque, isn't it, with the uh, traffic lights? But you've got the. Uh, <laughs> you've got London Sky. <laughs> Skybox. And you're in New York, so make of it what you will. Make of it what you will. I really do love this pack. I have to say, um, I'm so glad I bought it on a sale back in December. Uh, if I push R, we're going to get some rain. Look, it's raining. Push T is going to show us uh, his interpretation of what it is at night time. Remember, don't flip it. Don't flip this scene. It's big enough for you to make a good part of your city. Okay, I wouldn't say it's big enough to make an entire city. But it's good enough to make a section, like the downtown area of your city. Look at these parallax windows. It's wonderful. Needs to have like some insides though of the shop. Or even on the on the exterior of the shop window. The signs to say, buy my one, get one free, you know, spatulas for sale. Something. Now you might notice in the demo scene that you come over here and like me, you're like, oh, that's very low res, it looks very ugly compared to all the other beautiful things we've seen and that's because if we go over to it if I click the right thing at least there we go if we go over to it over here you'll notice that there's a cheeky little quad the cheeky little quad open up here it is there's the cheeky little quad and that cheeky little quad uh, we're in paused so it's static I can't move it now, if I drag it out a bit, you'll see that there you go. It was just a little bit too far in. So there's the window. If that window was that's not supported, then you would see that. But even if you were just to see this, it should be better resolution. That's there. Only griefs I've got in this pack is that and these brickwork here. That I don't like the way that the bricks are brought in and cut along half of this brick. That that low res texture. And these drinks uh, and, and the condiments not having the textures on them. Now, I found a couple of bugs, such as the uh, fire escape it needs to be wider so you can walk past it properly. He's going to fix those. But honestly, that's it. That's my only grievance I found with this pack so far. It's ridiculous. How can I only find that much of a grievance? I know it's crazy, isn't it? it really is. The messy coder. I loved making this. A bit tedious, but I loved making it. They're going to make massive buildings. You just need to keep on adding more and more sections, see, until you're finished, happy with the size of your building. You can make them the layout of the building you want, see, you mean that four of these makes one floor of this building, whereas you could just do one of them by itself to have a smaller building like this here, see, boom, 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 and you can keep on going bigger and bigger and you can lay down the different tops on there as well. You want to be, really use some kind of mesh baking if you're going to push this live, as always. Work on your optimization uh, and the brickwork, whereas not crazy high resolution, it's good enough because you don't want it to be too, you know, 4K textures on this one brick, nothing else. So I'm going to say that I'm happy, I'm happy, happy with the textures and everything. Uh, there's one thing I'd say if you fell down and collapsed on the floor and mushed your face right against it you would notice that your texture on your floors possibly not as good as the textures elsewhere like here see but you're not really going to notice that are you no you're not you're not going to notice that and just because i want to i thrown in character controller to see how we're looking as we're running around 
Uh, everything seems to be at a good scale. Everything seems to be at a good scale. I'm happy with that. Hello, can I have a hot dog, please? Yes, I, I'd like that one there. That's 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 being cooked. But I like a, a drink. Yes, uh, Pepsi, Coca Cola. Uh, you don't have any of those. You've just got green, white, and red. Okay, I'll have white, please. Thank you. But oh, we need to uh, mush our face up against these bricks, don't we? Yeah. So, look at that. It's past Messi's mush test. Even the white bricks. So even they're not got the weird cuts going into them, they look good. Let's pop into the other demo scene that shows us all the props we're doing with the urban pack. Let's go into the other one. You know, before we do, let's just go to night time. Hello, it's night time. And it's raining. Oh, it's foggy. And you can see my bum. Sorry about that. Oh, yes. Look at that. Steam coming out of the ground. It's nice. Tis nice! So this is what you get in the Mega Urban Props Urban Pack. Now, you can, you can get this separately if you just want this one. And he's going to be adding an upgrade path into the full City uh, Builder Urban Pack. Currently, there isn't an upgrade path, but he said he's going to add one. So if you're umming and ahhing, if this is right for you, you could just get the, the props first and then upgrade later to the full pack. Right now, it's not worth you doing that because it's actually cheaper in the sale to buy the full pack than it is to buy this props pack. Yes. So I would say go out and get yourself the the, the full pack if you're doing a city game. If you're doing because every city needs different looking buildings. So this could this works well with many other city packs that I've got because different parts of your building of your cities are like downtown, like you know, some kind of area. You'd have them slightly different architecture. They're not all exactly the same. London's not all exactly the same. Every part of London doesn't look identical. Every part of New York doesn't look identical. So, oh look, those are sticky on labels. So, first question is, do the sticky off labels come off? Let's, let's go and have a look. Do the sticky off labels come off? Do we have an alternate without the old sticky labels? Where is it in? Selecto. Selecto, there it is. Roadblocks. We got a different roadblock there. Different type of concrete. And what's this one here? Oh, roadblock with cyanide. Oh yeah, look, even this one's got the label on it. Okay. Uh, this one doesn't. So you'd, you'd use these ones uh, to mix them up. But the thing is, you'd want these ones without. I'll drop him a line to see if you've if you got them without. It'd be good to know. All right, back. Let's have a look. How many polys is? How many polys is this? So, we go to uh, Meshy Meshy. The book called Cube. 758 verts. That ain't bad. I was expecting more. But it's alright. What about this thing? Hello? What about you? Yes, you're called Cube as well. Why are they all called Cube? This is 518 verts. You see where it doesn't have LUDs on them? I can see why it doesn't have LUDs on it. I love the textures. I love the textures on these. So you get this for free in the pack. You can say you get it for free or you buy one and you get, you're both included. If you do get this by itself, the props you can upgrade, as I mentioned. Well, not yet, but you will be able to. But there's no point in the sale because it's cheaper. And I'm really liking his textures. I really like his textures. Um, and, and, and I like how this is looking HDRP. Built in as well. Do you mean to load up quickly the built in one? To show you the built-in one, I can do that for you. Different types of poles here. Walk sign. Yes, it's okay to walk now. Your fingers pointing. Um, I'd like I'd like packs to give us British-style traffic lights, but you never really see them. You never. These I mean, it's kind of like this black thing here. It's not exactly the same. Oh, clicking everything. Yeah, it's not exactly the same, but. It's Bit, a little bit like that. Nice pack. I'm well chuffed. I am well chuffed with my purchase. I'm chuffed in my purchase that I got it on the sale. Would I be happy if I bought, bought it full price? Mm, not too sure. I mean, there's a lot of things in this pack. Um, but I'm just happy that I got it on the sale. 
I mean, it's not got like 500 things in this pack. It's not like he's got a thousand things in this pack. And you kind of get spoilt by some pub artists who, who basically spam out their pack full of full of things rather than making lots of smaller ones. Have I been spoilt maybe for that? I'm going to load up the built-in one so we can play about with the built-in. As I say, it's currently 33.99. Well, it's currently 17 dollars. Normally 33.99. Uh, and if we pop over to his his assets or page, oh look, it's, it's actually cheaper, 15 dollars. So you're paying two dollars more to get to get the whole pack. Yeah, you're a bit you're a bit rough because I have to say, it's a no-brainer. 17 dollars. I'm very happy with my purchase. Little things that you could have said and done, but you just never really took the time. Like give us a, a, a crossroads, a, a, a defined prefab crossroad. Now, he, he hasn't. He gives you these pieces here so you can do it yourself, which is nice, all in good when it comes to the pavement. The roads, not so much. He's, he's put them down uh, as a big plane and you can add his shader on there and throw your decals on and, and away you go I, I suppose but to be honest I'm I like the, the traditional you know build it up build it up build it up method rather than stick a massive road down and, and add your your textures on um, that's just me but then if I want to be using something like uh, Gaia or Gina rather or Fantastic City Builder or if I want to be using City 2 then I need uh, a little bit more structure when it comes to making my roads. I'm going to be playing about adding this pack into those city builders so I can see can I use city builder urban to make a city with a city builder. Do you see what I did there? Of course you did. Of course you did. So I'm going to put the rain down. I'm in the built in one. It's not HDRP. We've got nighttime. We've got a bit of rain coming down. And you know what? I mean, I'm in built-in, not HDRP, and it still looks lovely. And we've still got this parallax window effect going on as well. But we don't get uh, that puddle effect going on here on the crack. It's, it's, the puddle's dried out. The puddle's dried out on built-in, but the puddle's there when it comes to the HDRP. Right then. That, that's, that's it. So that's that's me playing about with City Builder Urban from Reversed Int. I I am really surprised. Is that like the first main big pack they've done? They've got a Cyberpunk one as well, which I wanted to get. I wanted to get this one first to see what would the quality be like before I buy the Cyberpunk one. And I have to say, I am pleasantly surprised. I really do enjoy this pack. Um, hats off to them. I know it's been successful. A lot of people have been telling me that they want me to review this pack. So there you go. I bought it. Back then, I reviewed it now, and I eventually might end up even doing something with it rather than just collecting dust. So I'm going to use this in my cyberpunk project of, of cities. So this is this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to play about with it, add it into my cyberpunk project, and I'll even grab hold of his cyberpunk pack. Maybe I could try to blag myself a copy of it. So if you do like these videos and you want to see more, click on that big juicy red subscribe button. Tell all of your friends, random people on the street that Messi is finally unable to really find much fault. So if you do like it, click it. Till next time. If you want to see more of my crazy videos, click on the left side of your screen now. And down below, there's that big juicy subscribe button. And right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it, it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Till next time.